I ran a ton of tests to see if CyberGhost actually lives up to their promises or if its security is nothing more than a horror show. So if CyberGhost is one of the VPNs that has been on your radar, then this video is for you. So what are the connection speeds like with CyberGhost? Generally, using a VPN results in a slight drop in speed due to the encryption process and the increased distance over which your data needs to travel. But CyberGhost didn't significantly compromise speed during my tests. I use the WireGuard protocol, which is well known for its fast speeds, and my speeds remained relatively consistent across different servers. The best performing servers in my tests were the ones in the US, Europe, and South America, but other servers like the Middle East and Australia also had very decent speeds. I didn't experience any buffering while streaming 4K videos, even with CyberGhost servers that are far from my real location. And since CyberGhost does not throttle your speeds or have bandwidth limits, you can even play data intensive games like League of Legends smoothly and download large files without any interruptions or hitting data caps. Let me take you through some of the other features that make CyberGhost really unique. The app has a Wi-Fi protection feature that automatically starts the VPN when it detects an unknown network. This is important if you frequently use Wi-Fi at places where virtual ghouls would definitely hang out, like cafes, bus stops, or airports. It means you get instant protection without having to remember to enable your VPN and connect. Secondly, all CyberGhost servers are RAM only. This means that they can't permanently store any of your data. Every time these servers are rebooted, all data is completely wiped. The VPN also offers its own no-spy servers that are exclusively owned and operated from its headquarters in Romania. This reduces the risk of outside interference or unauthorized third parties intercepting your online activity. Plus, turning on the content blocker feature adds a layer of security to your browsing as well. It warns you if you're about to visit a malicious site, for example, with phishing links. It also blocks ads and trackers that apps and websites can secretly use to monitor your movements around the internet. Plus, you can allow some apps and websites to tunnel through the VPN while allowing others to connect directly to the internet. This is enabled by the split tunneling feature on the CyberGhost app. Just to give an example, that means that you can simultaneously watch geoblocked Netflix shows using your VPN while checking your local bank account with your real regular IP address. Very handy for avoiding location alerts on your banking app. And even if your device doesn't support VPNs, say you're streaming on Apple TV or via a console, you can still use CyberGhost to unblock content. Simply configure your device's DNS settings via the Smart DNS feature, and you are ready to go and start using CyberGhost. And if you want to make sure that you are getting the best discount possible on your CyberGhost plan, then click the links down below this video, where you will get an automatic discount applied to your subscription. Now, before I vanish, let's quickly look at the overall user experience. Aside from working with a wide range of devices, I noticed that the VPN maintained the same clean and user-friendly interface across all different apps. Whether on a laptop, phone, smart TV, or anything in between, it takes just a few short clicks to connect to your VPN server and get started browsing online without any worries. Also, you can connect up to seven devices with any of their plans. And if you have any technical issues or questions about configuring any of the apps, the VPN support staff is reachable 24 seven on their live chat support right within the app. But now my final take on CyberGhost. Overall, this is a well-rounded VPN. The designers took into consideration the needs of most VPN users. Whether you want to protect your online privacy, stream content that may be restricted in certain areas, or download torrents, there are sufficient support features to give you the best experience. I wouldn't let the high monthly plan spook you too much either because the long-term subscription is definitely the more affordable option. And if you're gonna be using this platform, then you might as well just lock in that longer term subscription. But hey, that's just me. It's now down to you to test it out and decide if it is a good option for you. As we wrap up this review, remember to hit the like button if you found this video to be helpful and subscribe to our channel for more high quality VPN reviews and insights in the future. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video.